Hey everyone, Ken McKee with Canopy Mortgage. And hey, uh, if you're like me, you've heard a lot about the CalHAPA Dream for All Shared Appreciation Program. But if you're like me, you've also got a lot of misinformation. I've heard people call it a grant. I've heard it called a bunch of other things. It's just not things about the program that are not true. So let me give you pros and cons of the program and you can determine or let your buyer determine whether or not it's good for them. Because it's going to be good for some people. It's not going to be good for other people. Okay, so what is it? Uh, the, the Dream for All program is a shared appreciation loan program. And I'm reading, by the way, a uh, loan program for first first time home buyers, which provides up to 20 percent of the home purchase price that can be used for down payment and or closing costs. So this is not a zero in zero money needed loan. The buyer is still going to have to bring about three to five percent of the purchase price in total. And, and that, those are numbers I can go over that with you later, but that's about what you're going to have to bring. Uh, CalHAPA uses an example of $500,000 purchase price, $400,000 CalHAPA conventional first, and $100,000 CalHAPA dream for all second. It's silent, it's zero interest, it's repayable in full, and you have to pay a certain percentage, either 15 or 20% of the appreciation whenever you refinance out of it with the exclusion of a one-time uh, subordination that they'll allow uh, of the second mortgage, or if you sell the house, and I'll, we'll, so we'll cover it, we'll go into that. So, okay, what are the pros? Pros are number one, well, I'll just start, allows the buyer to qualify for more home. So, in the scenario that I listed above, the borrower will only have a $400,000 loan, and, you know, on a $500,000 purchase price. If the buyer were to use a conventional 3% down loan, the payment would be based on a $485,000 loan. So that's a lot. That's, that's hundreds of dollars of more monthly payment if you did a just a larger first loan. Okay, number, the next one is there's no mortgage insurance. So depending on the purchase price, this could save the borrower, I mean, hundreds of dollars per month. The rates are pretty good. Uh, yesterday, today's Cesar Chavez Day, March the 31st. So as of March 30th, 2023, the rate for the program was 6.375%. Uh, now realize that 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 CalHAPA does, you have like a two point fee doing a CalHAPA loan. So like it, the person could also go get a three, a 6.125% uh, loan a, with a conventional loan with two points, it, more than it'd be totally fine. So the rates are good. Uh, and, and the cool thing is you only need a 680 FICO score to get that that advertised rate that CalHAPA puts out every day versus you would need a 780 credit score to get the same rate or maybe a little bit less than that but the high the best the best rates for conventional it, it takes a 780 used to be 740 but Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac just changed their loan level pricing adjustments and there are different tiers now between 740 and 780 so 740 is not the score you need on normal conventional loans to get the best rate Okay, uh, the next one is uh, it's up to 50% debt to income is allowed, which is great. And that's if your FICO score is 700 or higher, up to 45% debt to income is allowed uh, if your FICO is less than 700. Okay, uh, another pro is that the borrower may subordinate the dream for all second one time and one time only. And, and uh, CalHAP is very um, adamant about that. So it allows you to say if rates would drop I'm just going to make something up to four and a half percent in a year, year and a half. The buyer could could ditch their six point three seven five rate uh, and get a whatever the market rate is. And the second mortgage would go behind that one. So it wouldn't stop them from doing it. OK, what are the cons? Uh, cons are number one. And this is not really a con, but it's just a, it's just, just a heads up. You must be a first time home buyer to qualify for this program, which means you cannot have owned a house in the last three years. And yes, CalHAFA will get three of your, you know, your most recent three years of tax returns to prove that you haven't owned a house. Um, you also cannot have lived in a house that is owned by a spouse. That's something I haven't seen on other CalHAFA paperwork, but it is for this program. The income limit for SAC, Placer, and El Dorado counties, this is again, not a con, but it's a heads up, is $202,000 a year. So if you make $202,001, you don't qualify. Um, this is interesting. Non-occupiant co-buyers are not allowed, which means you can't have mom or dad. You can't do a blended debt to income ratio like we do on conventional and, uh, and FHA loans. 
Uh, closing costs, like I mentioned earlier, are higher on Cal CalHAPA loans than they are on regular conventional government loans. Uh, another con is that uh, the loan must be approved by both the lender, like in my case, Canopy Mortgage, and CalHAPA. So what we do is we approve it here. You know, we get the, uh, everything done, the appraisal done. We get it under reviewed and get final approval. And then we have to send it to CalHAPA. Right now, I look today, there's like three loans in the pipeline, but it's because the loan program just came out on Monday and today's Friday. And it's amazing that they've got that, that many, even three of them in to begin with. But we've seen CalHAPA turn times go out as long as three weeks for other programs in the past. And so just be careful. This may, is not going to be a, pro, um, a loan that you're going to be able to do a 14 day close, a 21 day close. So it may not be appealing to some sellers. Uh, and then another reason uh, is that some sellers may not be excited to accept offers from buyers that are doing zero money down. There's if something happens, the appraisal comes in low. What's the out? What's their plan B? Most of them don't have a plan B. And we already see this with FHA, VA, other low down payment, like 3% down loans or even 5% down loans. And definitely with other down payment assistance programs like other CalHAPA loans or GF, GSFA, which has the Platinum program or Chinoa. So, OK, the big one is this is a shared appreciation program. That's a con or it could be a con. Um, so when refinancing out a loan or selling your home with the exclusion of that one time subordination, borrowers not only have to pay back the original 20 percent second, they also have to pay back up to 20 percent of the appreciation. So if a home went from 500,000 to 700,000 and you know, it, it appreciated $200,000 when the, when the buyer gets, but when they either refinance or, or subordinate, or I'm sorry, refinance or uh, sell the house, uh, they have $200,000 of appreciation. If their income is more than 80% of the AMI or the area median income, which in this area, which means Sacramento, El Dorado, Placer counties, is 81,920. So they make over 81,920,000 ,000 at the time that they did the loan. Uh, they will have to pay back 20%. So if it goes up 200,000, they're going to have to pay back the original 100,000 plus the 40,000 of appreciate, you know, their shared appreciation. And so they have to pay back 140,000. Now they get to keep, you know, uh, a whole lot of it, 160,000 of the appreciation. So that's good. And someone asked me one time, would you rather have 100% uh, of a grape or 10% of a watermelon? I'd rather have 10% of a watermelon. Uh, okay, so um, let's see. If they make if their AM if their income is under the AMI or 80% AMI, which is 81,920, if it's that or under, they have to pay back 15%. In this case, of $200,000 appreciation, that would be uh, $30,000. So the original 100 plus the 30, they have to give up. Um, okay, another con is that this is a limited program. So uh, there's I think 500. Uh, million dollars in the program. Sounds like a ton, but we just had a 10% down program with CalHAPA and it didn't last very long. It ran out very quickly. So uh, you, the, the con, you could get people all ready to go, hyped up, excited about this program, and then the program goes away because the funds are gone. And then these people are stuck not being able to buy and you spent tons of time helping them or they spent tons of time looking, getting turned down, and then they're going to not have a program. I'm not going to have anything to buy. Um, Another one, is, so then, you know, when the, the, the program is replenished by buyers selling or refinancing, paying back that original amount they borrowed plus the appreciation, and that gets used for new future buyers. Um, so that's how it works. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other program for your clients, give me a call, 916-871-7578. Have a great weekend. See ya.